Hey guys, it's Monica. It is absolutely time to get serious about sun protection. Actually, if you're just now thinking about sun protection, it's probably too late. It is something that we need to think about every single day, especially the older we get. So being a mature woman, just so that you all know, for those of you that are new to my channel and have no clue who I am, I am a 65 year old grandmother. Yeah, grandmother. 65 year old grandmother. I work full time still. I lead as healthy a lifestyle as I possibly can. And that includes diet and that includes moderate, and I do say moderate because I haven't been inside a gym in a while, but moderate physical activity throughout the day. I'm trying to do everything to make sure that I stay as healthy as I can as I enter into my golden years, so to speak. I married, my husband Jay and I both have the same goals in life and that is to stay healthy, stay as fit as we can, as young as we can. And I do believe age is more of an attitude sometimes than actual years. So I think if you physically act younger, look younger, feel younger, you, your body will be younger if that kind of makes sense. In other words, I, there are some people that are my age that I look at them and they may look young or they may look good, they may have good skin, but they have an older appearance, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Or an older attitude, a more mature attitude. So I really think that a big part of anti-aging or aging gracefully is in your attitude as well as your physical appearance. So that said, aside from attitude, which I really have, I do feel younger than I am and my husband feels younger than he is so aside from the attitude aspect of it there is the skin protection it's important for you to know that I am a retin-a user I use retin-a four to five times a week I have been using a combination of retin-a hydroquinone for some of my darker age spots on my face so I've been using Retin-A for quite a while. I started at the tail end in September 2016 with really taking care of my skin. At that point in time, I was in my 60s and I started late. So, you know, for someone that started late, um, I think that really, really can should reinforce to you that if you haven't even started yet, it's never too late to start. Good skin care, it's never too late to start. So I started in my 60s to really take care of my skin. Prior to that, I was a sun worshiper. I baked. My idea of sunblock was Ban de Soleil, number four, number two, or um, baby oil. I baked. I never, ever, ever really thought about sun protection when I was growing up. And consequently, you know, my skin has reacted. I don't have the greatest skin, so I have been really trying to take care of my skin. Being a Retin-A user, and then I also use, you know, home microderm abrasion system from Trophy Skin. I use the spatula. I, I, I use a lot of different type of systems on my skin. So what I'm trying to say is I have, in most cases, invested heavily into skin care either the products or the items. And yes, some things have been sent to me for review, which I am internally grateful when I get the opportunity to review a product or to try a product that maybe I couldn't otherwise buy or maybe that I wouldn't even want to buy, who knows? But I, I'm grateful that I have that opportunity. That said, no matter what you do for skincare, if you don't protect that canvas, if you don't, do something to protect it, it's all for naught. The money is wasted, the products are wasted because you're gonna go out into the elements, out into the sun, and you're gonna get sun exposure, you're going to get all sorts of anti rat you're gonna have a whole lot of stuff happening to your skin that could potentially have been prevented. So I have been using, and a lot of people have asked me since I've been trying a couple of things, I'm gonna tell you what I do on a normal basis. I use the, this is the Australian Gold Botanical Sunscreen Face 50 SPF. This is a mineral lotion, non-greasy. This is not a high-end product. I have 
This one I just opened. This one is nearly empty. I have one in my office. I have one in my car. I think I have about four or five of these kicking around. And I'm going to just put this on my skin so you can see. This is tinted. And I just want you to be able to see what it looks like. And I'm not too sure if, if the camera will pick up on this tint at all. But this is actually tinted. And when you rub it into your skin, onto my skin, it does dissipate and it absorbs into my skin. So for me, this is absolutely perfect in the morning, after my skincare, before my makeup. So far, anyways, unless my skin has been really super peely, this plays nice under most foundations that I have used underneath. Now I put it on and I pay particularly close attention to make sure I'm adequately covered on the side that I call my driver's side because that's the one, the side of my face that I have the most exposure when I'm behind the wheel. So I pay a lot of, I mean, I pay attention to my whole face, but I make sure that my left side is really, really well protected. I try to put this on early enough so it has an opportunity to absorb into my skin, to settle into my skin, to dry into my skin. It's a non-greasy formula, so sometimes I find it a bit drying, and so I need to make sure before I put it on that my skin is well moisturized. Then I let it set. Usually that's what I am doing during the week when I'm going to work. I will then put on a foundation, and my foundation of choice is still my Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Luminate for everyday wear. It, um, it just plays nice with my skin. It, it just does play really nice with my skin. And I'll do a separate foundation video because I use a number of different foundations. I use the CYO, I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I, I use a number of foundations that I really like. But this is on a general, everyday type of situation. I bought, before we went to Vegas, a couple of other sunscreen protections. One, two of them are Shiseido. One is the, the BB. This I love. So this is the BB cream, and it is a 50 SPF. I don't know if you can, if that's being, if that's going to pick up at all on it, on you. And this is the color medium. It, I can almost wear this alone. So, meaning that I can wear this without any kind of other foundation on top of it. This is buildable. This is covers really nice and this is the perfect color for my skin i don't know if i get a color if i get a tan if i'm gonna have to go darker but i like this a lot so this is a bb cream 50 spf i like it it wears well it doesn't go into my cracks it doesn't at the end of the day it's not getting orange this just plays super super nice now i also still have and i'm almost out of it and this is the it cosmetic anti-armor this is i bought this like maybe two years ago i um haven't gone through it yet so this is the 50 spf it's cosmetics this is also a bb cream and I don't know if you can see the colors, you probably can't. But anyways, this I can wear on my skin, um, but this doesn't play as nice on my skin as the Shiseido does for me. So I will not be buying this one again when I'm finally out. This I will. I also have the, and I bought this one, this is their SPF. This is white, this is just sunblock. And it's heavy, it's white, it goes on, and it almost immediately it does have a little bit of a white cast that dissipates pretty rapidly, but it immediately sinks into your skin. So I really kind of like that. I also have the CeraVe. This is also a 50 SPF. This I will not be purchasing again. I have a hard time with this. I don't know why. I put it on, I turn beet red. It sometimes irritates my skin. So I also bought, before we went to convention, the uh, Color Science, and, and I've shown this before. This I really love. This is the powder. This is really super cool because you shake it, and then if you're out and about, you just can tap it onto your skin. You need to make sure that you shake it so that you're getting it all out, and you can just tap it onto your skin. 
I really like this a lot. I got, I bought this and I used this in Vegas. I used this in Vegas and I brought my Estee Lauder Double Wear and my by Boots Number no. 7, and I think I bought the CYO foundation as well. But these are the two sunblocks that I had with me in my pocketbook that I wore all the time. I also brought this because I can also put this on my body, so I really like that. One of the things that I received recently from the Octoly Network, and this, this is from the Amore Pacific, and this is, and this has actually won awards. So I was really super, super impressed with this because I did not know. I mean, this is not, not a new cushion foundation or cushion cream, but it's new to me. And so I requested this from the Octoly Network and I was approved. So a more Pacific, this is a, this is a sunblock. I mean, this is really a good, coverage but this is a foundation i put this on i've actually been wearing this this one is a little bit dark for me this is the medium pink i also have the light pink which i haven't opened up yet the really cool thing about this is and i'll link all the information is just like my color science the powder this can just stay as a compact so if i have to touch up at all during the day I can take a look, there's a nice little mirror in there and I can go, okay, I'm going out, maybe I'm going for a walk around the, you know, the parking lot, I'm going down on the rail trail or whatever. I put this on and it held me really nicely all day. I came home, I've worn it a couple of days this week and I came home at the end of the day and I still had coverage on and it did not settle into my skin. Would I use this? alone if I was going out somewhere and I wanted to look picture perfect. No, I would probably put a little bit more foundation on it. But this kind of really evened my skin out very nicely. It lasted all day. I was able to touch up as I needed. I was protected. I went outside. I never felt like I was exposed to the elements. This is really, really nice. And the sweet thing about this is when, and this is pricey. I know this is pricey, but you just have to ask yourself, at what price do you protect the investment you're making into your skin? And if there's a product that really works for me, Sunwise, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it so that I'm in my comfort zone. This actually comes with a little replacement. Um, when, you're, when you're out, you can pop this right out of the compact. This whole little element comes right out and you can insert this replacement in it. It's really cool. So I have two of them. They were sent to me in exchange for my honest opinion and reviews. I haven't used the lighter shade yet, but I do have the medium pink. The medium pink, I think, is probably a good color it, for me, especially when I get some color. If I, you know, I'm outside, my summer skin, so to speak, even though I'm not planning on tanning, you still, you still have a little bit of exposure no matter how well protected you are. And the other one is the light. So this has been working out really, really well. I've been able to put it on, carry it in my pocketbook, put it on, and feel totally, totally comfortable. So products I bought, I spent a good amount of money for these two. I bought these at the um, outlet, the Mer we have outlets in New Hampshire, and I bought this um, at the Bare Minerals store in the outlet center. So it's cheaper than if I had paid full price at Macy's, but still, very very expensive and these are very reasonable there are a lot of people that really like this sunblock i think you can sometimes get a good sale on these i bought these in ulta and i want to say they were like buy one when i bought it get the other at half off or something like that and they were like 12.95 or 14 dollars a piece and the other half off i got it last fall so sometimes that's the best time to stock up on stuff like that. And again, as I said, the It Cosmetics, the Anti Armor, very nice, but it, I didn't like the color payout on me. So this I would never wear alone. When we went to Nova Scotia last summer, I brought this with me as well as other sunblock. I had a hard time. I had a hard time with this. So I'm not going to re repurchase. But the Shiseido, I like this BB cream very, very, very much and also my color science. Now, 
if you saw my previous video, you know that Color Science sent me their Pep Up Cream. So, sorry about that, guys. My battery died, and so I know I'm probably not in the same position, but I have to get, go get a new battery and, re and replace it. So, um, anyways, I think what I had said was that uh, many of you, if you've seen my previous video, you know that I had gotten the Color Science approved from the Octoly Network thanks to Color Science for approving me and that they had sent me their Pep Up Cream which is what I was expecting but they also sent me another one of their Age Defense and this is their this is their powder SPF so I'm like all set for all summer because I have this one which is a smaller size than the one I bought but you know, it's um, it's awesome. So I, I was like so appreciative of having received that. I'm wearing my Raquel Welch Flirt Alert. I always forget to say that because I usually wear my wigs in the video. So I'm so used to having a wig on most of the time in my videos. I don't even think anything of it. I usually do mention, for those of you that want to know, I usually do put in the comment section, not the comment section, in the description box below, which wig I'm wearing. Well, this is the Raquel Welch Flirt Alert. I really like this. I would say this is probably the most natural, um, yeah, it's definitely the most natural looking wig that I have. I really like this a lot. 